Have you ever heard of the name Virgil Livers? Virgil Livers, no. Mm-mm. You ever heard of this name, Ty? Virgil Livers? I have not. Virgil Livers was a cornerback for the Bears in the 70s. Ouch. He, um, <laughs> late in his, his second season with the Bears, he was blocking at the end of a punt return um, inside Soldier Field when a member of the Raiders jumped on the pile to avoid a late hit and instead came down knee first into Livers' lap. Just before the guy landed, Livers distinctly remembers a split-second moment when he swears he locked eyes with the opposing player and the player gave him a look of helplessness and an I'm sorry look. It didn't help because Virgil's testicles exploded on contact. <laughs> he wasn't wearing a cup and incredibly wore... Exploded? Exploded. Wore one for only one for a short time after. The testicle, in case you missed it, exploded on contact. He went back onto the field oh. for the next defensive series. Come on. Until his scrotum swelled to the size of a large orange and began obstructing his stride and he could not run. He said, I was the smallest guy in my position in the NFL and I was determined to be the toughest. And for six years, he said, I was. Um, he says, nowadays guys get a hangnail and they sit out of practice. <laughs> That's a football guy right there. Uh, how about this? This is more to it, guys. How about this? So after the game, Trainers suggested draining the mangled orb with a needle oh. before deciding to take x-rays because it was so big they figured it might, exp- like, you know, I mean, it might have some other issues. They want to drain it. Um, on, on the uh, x-ray, they said it looked like a shattered light bulb. And Livers was immediately sent to the hospital for surgery. He was told not to worry, and there was a reason um, that he, you know, his most vital organs <laughs> come in sets of two and that he'd be okay as long as he had one. As he, my man KD, Virgil yeah, you can have one. As he remembers it, Liver says he drove himself to the ER because news that he was injured uh, and needed surgery sent his wife, Linda, who was nine months pregnant at the time, into labor. Oh, no. When they told her her man stuff had exploded, she just went, she just lost it and went into labor. She was so freaked out. Um, Connie Payton, wife of Walter Payton, drove her to the hospital. So that she could have her baby and stay with her while she delivered their son, Alexander, who weighed more than 10 pounds. So she went through it, too. (laughs) Um, uh, And after all said and done, uh, Livers went on to play like three more years in the league and had a daughter. After his testicles exploded. Modern medicine. This says, please cut Rod's mic. Please cut Rod's mic. (laughs) We were talking about it. I'm just telling you guys. I'm like lightheaded now. That story, that's that's inspiration for people who want to. I I, kind of tuned out until you said exploded. (laughs) Exploded. But he yeah. drove himself to the high, went back on the That's field to play dude right there. after it happened. And Why then have I never heard of Virgil hospital. Livers? I've heard of like Ronnie Lott cutting his own finger off. No, the mo- the toughest man in the history of the NFL is Virgil Livers, ladies and gentlemen. It is not Ronnie Lott. Ronnie Lott, that one little finger, this dude went back on the field after his testicle exploded and then drove himself to the ER. That's a new definition for big balls right there. <laughs> uh, singular one. <laughs> yeah, big ball. <laughs> yeah. Um, All right, there you go. Sorry. Thank you, Ron. We'll throw it thank out you, there. No, that's uh, unbelievable. Want y'all to know this history? Guys. I should know. Virgil and a ten pound baby. Thank you. His wife had a ten pound baby. Dang. She exactly. They both went through some traumatic that's events some, on the same day. That's a tough family right there. That is tough. Family. That's the real deal. They, so that they, they tell stories again. about him when I play for the Bears. Like they tell stories about him all Virgil over the locker room. Yeah, they still talk about. Him. Like they're like, oh no, you think you tough? You ain't tough. Virgil was tough. Yeah, that's that's all time. <laughs> that's all time. Drove himself. Yeah. Yes. Sorry. Had to. It had to get that out there. Anyway. I told the story on the show recently, but yes. I, I do had a buddy a couple of months ago who broke his junk. He broke the junk? Broke it. In activity? Like during uh, yeah. intimate? Yeah, I guess. I don't know. What, what do you mean you guess? And what what else you going to He was doing the dirty dreidel. What else? <laughs> no. T- 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 I- well done. Well done, Ty. That was a weak old joke you brought back. Well Dirty done, Nestle. Well done. Hold up, hold up. You he broke it. And he didn't tell you the story? Now, he tries to say it wasn't during it. He just rolled over, and it was the morning, and he... Oh, really? His, yeah. I don't believe it. <laughs> yeah, he rolled over. I, right? I ain't buying that story. I ain't buying that. I ain't buying that. Because Dennis Rodman has done it three times. I've heard that. with. Uh, and he said he was... Uh, every Cameron, time he Carmen was, Electra? Yeah, he did it. And every time he was doing something like really exotic in, in the bedroom. Like he was jumping. Trying new doing, things. You doing know? that Kama Sutra, some kind of crazy stuff. Uh, so I wonder. Yeah. Anyway. No. Yeah, and he's Someone still, says, he's ball, still don't on. lie. <laughs> well done. <laughs> well, no, listen. 
Go on, you heard my buddy he, he tell the story of having to go to the emergency room. Oh, meet t- he, the funniest part of that. Oh. There is no funny part of that. No, it's not. But the somewhat humorous part is when he got up there, he got up to the lady and was like, hey. he was trying to whisper to her. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, he's like, I broke my. <laughs> What's your issue, sir? And Please, goes, sir, speak what? up. You broke what? <laughs> I'd much rather have that happen than the, the Virgil Livers. Agreed. I, I, a hundred times over. Agree. Yeah, that's yeah. Those are terrible. terrible. I agree. I'd rather have my junk like break than have. Yeah, because you can at least you can. Oh yeah, you, you can, can fix, fix that. that. Yeah, you, you can fix that. That didn't sound fun though. There was no, neither one of them is going idea. on. I guess that's one of those hypotheticals. Which or would you rather? Would you rather have your your testicle explode or would you rather your junk break? No. Junk break. Uh, yeah. Junk uh, break. I don't know. That's a good. Would you rather? <laughs> <laughs> it's, no, it's terrible. Uh, neither, but uh, don't do either. But yes, if you've heard, if you had to listen to him tell the story, and he's still down. He's been down two months. Oh, I was still. Be- <laughs> well, what does he tell his, his? What does he tell his boss at work? Like, why are you out? <laughs> he hasn't stopped working. He ain't stopped working. Good for him. Well, because you have to get stitches, and then you yes. can't get excited. For... Oh, you can't. That's true. Yeah, but that morning thing just happened. You know, can't turn I, that off. That's yeah, what that's I was nature. Thinking. That's like, nature. How does that work? Mm. Yeah, that, Baseball, baseball, baseball. <laughs> Get something to put in your eye. <laughs> yeah, as a as a man, every man should know how to distract himself at a certain age. Like, yeah. Virgil yeah, Livers. Right. Baseball, baseball, baseball. <laughs> That's too much, y'all. That's, That's too much. But he's he's hopefully doing better. Um, I hope he is too. Wow. Sorry, people. I know his traumatic stories we're telling now. I never know anybody that broke their junk though. That's interesting. Was I he? Your... I never had either. <laughs> Until I met him. I just heard about it, and I was like, Dennis Rodman is crazy. He's done it three times. But there you go. Now we know everyday Joe's done don't it. Don't do that.